Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the southern Thailand province of Satun. And today we just drove to a waterfall. We're gonna go to a waterfall. It's called Wang Sai Tong. And the waterfall looks beautiful, so I wanted to come here. We wanna play in the water, so we just arrived. Uh, let's go check out the waterfall, and then probably we'll have some lunch afterwards somewhere around here, a very simple lunch. But let's go check out the waterfall. Got our tickets for entrance, which is right at the parking lot. It costs 200 baht for foreigners and 20 baht for Thai citizens. Looks like we're the only car here, but there are two buses of what looks like Thai students, maybe researching, walking around, uh, looking at the plants and the, the jungle here. But already it is beautiful. Oh, that water is nice too. Yeah. You saw some fish, Micah? Oh yeah, that water is really nice. It's clear, huh? Where? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a fish, okay. Oh, and what's amazing about this waterfall is the different shelving layers, uh, which may be from, made from limestone, but that the water has created that just cascade down and you can kind of go up the different shelves is what I saw. So that's why I really wanted to visit. Looks like a full, a full research group is here, but it doesn't look like anybody is swimming. We might be the only ones swimming today. Wow. Hello, so I do have. <laughs> wow, look at that view of the waterfall. It's impressive. It's even way better than in the photos that I saw. So many different layers, little pools that have formed, and then the water just slowly cascading. It's not huge, but it is really beautiful, and it's just the fact that it, it's all formed. It looks like a cave. You can see stalagmites, stalactites, but uh, an open cave that's just been formed by so many years of the water running and pouring down. And it's so cool that it, I mean, it almost looks like a, like a natural playground. Kind of cold. Mike and I had a fun time just splashing around the water the first few levels, but now I'm gonna go up to the top. It's amazingly beautiful, first of all, but then amazing how uh, it's the, the rocks are so sandpaper. I don't know if they're limestone or the different minerals that have uh, built up onto the rocks. It's so, yeah, it's like sandpaper. And then the water is clear so you can see the roots of the trees. That's also what's amazing is that there's just trees coming out of the, the rock and coming out of the, the bottoms of the pools, making this amazing jungle canopy and the, the shelves of water pools with perfect swimming pools. Let's quickly climb up to the top and get a look from the top. And now made it here. This is the biggest waterfall. This is the biggest pool. This is the biggest drop of water. And that mist, that spray is immediately just fogging up the lens. And you feel the those fish biting your feet, eating the skin off your feet in here. The doctor fish, the fish spa. Oh yeah, I can feel them tickling my, tickling my feet. Oh, it's so cool. So incredibly beautiful. Wow, amazing. So really cool. Just water cascading down the rock. Not too strong, but just giving your feet a nice little massage and to the side of the, 
that's the main waterfall there and the main pool. Oh man, this is the type of place you could just kind of sit down right here, lean back. Oh yeah, oh it's great. Oh, that's a massage. Okay, camera's getting kind of wet. <laughs> when you're standing here, it feels like you're surfing. It feels like you're moving. And now I'm above the main waterfall pool, and I think this is the the end. This is looks like the water is coming out of the the cave here. That's awesome. Out of the rock. Impressive. I just can't believe the trees coming out of the rock. And if you look at the trees, it looks like they've just been plastered, like cemented into that rock. And those are just the minerals, I guess the limestone, I believe, from the, the water that just has rushed over them for so many years, creating these amazing formations. And it really has this cave-like feel to it. It is, it's like a cave, but open air. Okay, we're heading out of the waterfall, but that was incredibly fun just walking around the shelves, the natural pools of water. Such a natural wonder and so incredibly beautiful. And then also you gotta climb up to the top to see the source of the water. Uh, it's really cool just coming out of the side of the mountain, out of the rock, out of the cave. But really worth visiting, an amazing waterfall. And I can see how it would be a little bit frustrating though if there's a lot of people, maybe on the weekends, if there's a lot of people walking around. It's best maybe if you can get here on a, a weekday. Uh, we came on a weekday and yeah, it's pretty, there, there are some groups of people but overall it's pretty quiet and really nice and well worth visiting. I really enjoyed it, really refreshing. Uh, Micah had an amazing time because there's some nice shallow pools and then if you want the bigger pool you can go up to the, the higher waterfall. What a cool place though. That's really good. Yeah, that's really creamy, really thick, really rich, pretty sweet and foamy. But after we left the waterfall, Micah ended up falling asleep immediately in the car. He was tired after that waterfall. So we ended up driving all the way back to Sato in the town. Uh, and this is my first time here. This is, I've never been here before, so I'm excited to be here. It feels so much like Malaysia. I'm already loving the relaxed atmosphere uh, and today is actually a Friday so a lot of things are closed here uh, as it's a majority Muslim population so a lot of the restaurants on my list are closed or kind of like look pretty quiet right now uh, but this is just one of the most central restaurants in all of Satun it's called Negara it's right right in the center of the city so we're just stopping here for a really quick lunch uh, and just ordered a couple of simple dishes <laughs> Food has arrived, just got a couple simple dishes. This one is a stir-fried vegetables. Micah got a vegetable chicken soup. And then I got uh, stir-fried stink beans with shrimp. And then this one in Thai is called uh, tom som, which is a boiled sour soup. Sometimes it can be sour with a fruit, sometimes it can be sour with lime juice. I'm not totally sure what this one is sour with, but there's chilies in here, there's lemongrass, uh, fish, and shallots. And it should be mullet fish in there. Mm. Oh, that's nice and sour. I think it's flavored with lime juice. Uh, you taste the fish and chilies and lemongrass in there. Well, that's good. Okay, for the, the shrimp and stink beans. Whoa, my God. We got some stink beans. You want some? Do you want to fry it? 
dropping the chilies, the curry paste, the uh, basil in there, and then the sting beans, the crunch of them. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. And then the final dish I got is mixed vegetables and a little bit of seafood in there too. There's some shrimp, there's some squid. Oh, that's a little bit on the sweet side. Finished with lunch, that was, it was okay. Uh, but it's really kind of like a whole food court, a uh, big family restaurant. Their menu is extremely extensive. You can go there, you can order a full spectrum of all sorts of different things from noodles to stir-fry dishes to curries to, to roti. Uh, they have a lot on their menu. It's more like a whole family food court. But really, I am extremely happy to be in Satun. This is my first time here and I'm happy, looking forward to exploring more. Yeah, the waterfall. Man, that was, that was the highlight. That was spectacular. If you're in this area driving, I love the natural pools, walking around. It's, it really is a jungle gym, a uh, natural waterfall, cascading waterfall. It's like a playground. Uh, so I really enjoyed that and highly recommend it. And I'll have the information in the description box below. And again, try to visit if you can, if you have a chance, try to visit on, on an off-peak hour. Uh, maybe the weekday, not the weekend. Because uh, I think really also the charm is being there when it's not too busy. And that's gonna wrap up this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. And also remember to subscribe for more travel videos. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Satun, Southern Thailand, and I'll see you on the next video.